At WWDC this year, we got to see this and this and this, even this. But as cool as all that was, I think this was the coolest thing that Apple didn't really talk about. And so this is the, the culmination of what students have been doing for the last four or five months. And I've, I'm like really happy with the app and I think we might win. The first generation iPad was released on April 3rd, 2010. And fast forward to today, it has become a fundamental tool in education. It's a device that replaces heavy textbooks with digital formats. It gives access to thousands of educational apps. It can be used for note taking and accessibility. It promotes collaboration and creativity and it's a pivotal tool in coding and STEM. Both of these apps were fully developed all on iPad. Yes. Yeah. I think the iPad is such a great tool for developing because it's so hands-on. You need to really just see it in action too. And just this past week at WWDC, we got a sneak peek of all of the OS updates that are coming, including iPadOS 26, which of course will make the world of coding even more seamless than ever before. But along with WWDC comes the announcement of the Swift Student Challenge winners. Marina Lee, she's a 21-year-old computer science student at USC. Earlier this year, when all of the LA wildfires were happening, Marina found herself directly affected when she received a call from her grandmother, who was in an evacuation zone, unsure of what to pack and what to bring along, as thousands and thousands of others were experiencing the same state of confusion and fear. So she decided to build an app for this called Evacuate. Evacuate helps users prepare an emergency checklist of essential items, upload copies of important documents via their iPhone camera roll, and import emergency contacts through their iPhone's contact list. Marina also started her coding journey in middle school. And more and more, we're seeing the younger generations actively participate and just are encouraged and passionate about this world of developing coding and problem solving. And this story right here is a direct product of that. Now let's flash back to a few weeks ago where Apple invited me to see Steam in action at a community celebration and app showcase at Cal State Dominguez Hills, where students demonstrated their app ideas that they've been working on together over the past few months. I got to chat with some of the kids, including some of the winners, and they're just very excited to share their ideas with me. And I felt honored just being there. You guys have amazing app ideas. So I want to know all about it. First of all, congrats on winning. You guys are amazing. I cannot wait to see and hear more about your app. Approximately 1,000 students have engaged in a five-part STEAM experience at Cal State, and they work together in groups to design innovative apps that cater to health and wellness challenges in their own lives. Well, you should try our app. It's called Inhale, Exhale, and it relieves your stress and anxiety. This includes sleep, healthy eating habits, mental well-being, and so much more. My mom is stressed a lot because she has to cook and clean to take care of me and do all this stuff. So I thought of stress because I want my mom, I don't want my mom to be stressed, and everybody in my group thought stress would be good too. So we thought of something that can relieve stress, and we thought of Inhale, Exhale. We all deal with stress and anxiety, so when we got the opportunity to really make an app about that there is no question involved obviously we wanted to do that so that's where our app focuses on mainly and here if you see a uh, play and then you can do your username in there and email how does the app relieve stress go to the pet page and you can click the, the um, one of the pets and they'll move and they can eat and do everything awesome. and then there's also workouts so like if you're stressed you can work out and you can walk you there's five minute workouts and 10 minute workouts and I think there might be a 15 minute workout it tracks like what you're doing like so if you went on the pet it will show what time and what you did on the pet page our name is move it and Okay. And we're just encouraging people to do more physical activity. What are some of your favorite ways to stay active and what does Move It encourage in like activity? Like running and exercising. How long did this take to break? Like probably about seven hours. What? You guys are geniuses. <laughs> I was not developing app, apps at your guys' age so I am very impressed. And these are our pages that we can go to. This is our home, our like information, AI chatbot, uh, our settings, and accessibility. And then our mission, I wrote this because I really wanted to like, like help somebody. I really like the idea of the app because it's just like, 
it's so much better, especially with school. It was actually really fun to make, like the animations for the brightness and stuff. I really like doing like the checkmark thing and the dark mode. It was really fun, like having to do all of these stuff. And then the winning teams got to showcase their app at the event with students from all ages, from elementary all the way up to high school. Guys, when they won the awards, I wanted to get emotional. Gabby was full on crying behind the camera. You could just feel the energy in the room. It was so present. I felt so inspired just being in the room with them. Like, La Energia was through the roof. Passion and creativity is so awesome to witness at such a young age because it's like a looking glass to the future. Like, these kids are the future. I never thought I would be able to do this. Coding was never really my thing, or like designing and stuff, but this really opened up a tons of new paths for me that I thought I would never ever do. And I'm just really proud of myself because this app has also really helped me because sixth grade has been really hard on me, but like researching and doing this, it like gave me a new path. This really opened an opportunity. It showed us job opportunities that we never really thought about. Like I never thought about making an app in my future, but this really did help me get a little experience on it. So definitely in the future, I will explore. I will try to explore app developing. So yes, going back to WWDC that just happened and there were a ton of amazing updates, but this is where we get to see it in action and where it counts because these devices that we use every day that get updated every year, are the building blocks to initiatives like this, like Apple's partnership with Cal State Dominguez Hills. And this is just one piece of the much larger puzzle that continues to help communities worldwide. This is part of Apple's community education initiative. Uh, we started the initiative back in 2019 to expand both educational and workforce opportunities. And that's really what you're seeing here today. Part of the reason that we're doing that here is we have thousands of employees in Culver City and Los Angeles, and we feel it's really important to be here and to show up here in the communities that we work with. This project, as you know, is uh, uh, it's the result of this incredible collaboration with the Apple Community Education Initiative team, and they are nothing short of amazing. They inspire the heck out of me. We get to work with students who are judged harshly by people who don't know them. I hope today you got to see uh, how brilliant they are. Oh, You know, like it's third incredible. graders creating amazing apps that could potentially, honestly, uh, change the world. Events and programs like this gives young learners not only the tools and access to coding and developing, but also the motivation and involvement of being part of something greater. I know if I were a kid to access to stuff like this, maybe I would have created a couple dozen life-changing apps by now. Who knows? I'm so excited for the future. You're like yeah. literally seeing the future happen. Yeah, here. oh my God, yes. Because of our collaboration with Apple, the CEI team, we're able to provide those experiences so they learn by doing and then if they choose not to be interested yeah. but i guarantee you 99 percent of them are interested oh absolutely they're, they're problem solving but they're also so creative and it's cool to see their perspective too because i feel like at, at that age you're, you're you think differently and the world is like your oyster for them to be able to achieve that and accomplish that and you guys to be the powerhouse behind it is amazing overall these initiatives really are training the workforce of tomorrow because the future is happening now and i got to witness firsthand how important it is to work as a community to build that comunidad is everything and so to think that they're exploring important issues to them to their communities, to their homes, to their schools, and then coming up with solutions that make the community a better place is really powerful. And using technology as the catalyst to do that. These are real numbers. We don't make up anything. I could do not. When we started counting, we didn't start counting from the beginning. When we started counting until today, we, I wanna say like about three months ago, we were at 150,694 students. Wow in less than five years. Wow. The goal is to continue to grow that and to give many, many more young people the opportunity to dream about what's out there, to think about a career, to see themselves here at a university campus someday, and then to be that next generation workforce. We still have a long way to go, but by joining forces with others and by others doing something similar, we could have a much greater impact. The, the need is huge out there. 
I, I see it yeah. with my own eyes in real time every single day. When I go to the schools and I see how little engagement there is in advanced technology. You are doing amazing work and it's great that you see it from a perspective of like we're, you know, this is the starting steps and starting yeah. stones too. So, so much more yes. to come. When the credit goes to the kids, right? Because they are the ones who are being the challenged. Ones. They are the ones who are, you know, working hard and resisting the outside pressures and yet creating something so special. Each kid got to talk about their app idea that they created with their group. And just seeing the eagerness and willingness to want to talk about it and that spark within them that led them to create it, that's the same spark that we as adults try to keep alive, to continue creating. And that's why this stuff is so important because it directly impacts whichever path they lead onto in their future and not only their future, but our future. Just by being a part of this program, the students not only get to showcase their app, but they also create core memories and get feedback from industry professionals. I also saw the winners got some free iPads and guaranteed admission to Cal State Dominguez Hills. The point is this program isn't just a one day and done deal. It truly leaves a lasting effect. And we personally just want to thank Dominguez Hills for giving us this opportunity to um, explore job opportunities. And so thank you. Yay, thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys feel the inspiration and just excitement for the future as much as I do. This one truly meant a lot to me. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Apple for inviting me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Hasta luego.